Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Province. You're in the middle of a video. Sorry, I just put this in. We are in front of Circus Circus. Now, Kirsten, you kind of uh, grew up in this hotel. Yeah. Is that a safe way to say it? Yeah, out on the Midway playing There's, the games. Hold, hold, the, hold the camera, talk to yourself for a minute. So you were out on the Midway playing the games. Kirsten forgot something that I conveniently brought. <gasps> I didn't forget it. I just she decided uh, not to use it. I just thought I was going to be able to go stop for it. No. I knew you weren't going to stop for it. I was what? busy. It's been Easter. I had to take pictures in front of the display at the Bellagio. Oh, the fountains were going. I know they are, but let's continue. So you remember Circus Circus, right? Very well. Have you ever been hypnotized before? Yes. Really? Yes. Well, I'm about to hypnotize you, okay? Uh -oh. So watch. Guys, I am a professional hypnotist, I think. And you know where we're going right now? Back to the 90s. Watch my finger. You're getting sleepy. Very, very sleepy. So sleepy, you'll let your eyes close. And you're gonna wake up and it's gonna be 1994. Holy crap! Have you heard of the Lion King? <laughs> you know that too well. Are you supposed to go? It's actually pretty good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <clears throat> All right. You're such a Renaissance man. 1994. Yeah. Vegas Strip. Right. Two dollar beers. Two dollar shrimp cocktails. Blow jobs or no jobs. It was maybe a few years earlier. No, it's Clinton that works. <laughs> Two dollar beers. Two dollar shrimp cocktails. Actually, good beer. Hey, I got some good news. Pabst Blue Ribbon doesn't exist in Vegas yet at this point in time. You like Great. Heineken? It's better than PBR. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. You like Dos Equis? Yeah. It's better than PBR. Did you eat lunch yet? No. Oh, it seems like Kirsten wants a hot dog and a shrimp cocktail. But uh, we're in 1994, and there's a place in front of Circuit Circus. Uh, pretend that that building that says Fountain Blue doesn't exist. That wasn't there till last year. Uh, pretend that one doesn't exist. I've heard an Adventure Dome is coming soon. I've heard an Adventure Dome. No, it's already here. Uh, I, I know. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's opening in about 15 minutes. Uh, but uh, there's this place called Slots of Fun. This is the casino that's always been in front of Circus Circus, and they literally have in there quarter slot machines. Slot machines that take a quarter, and they give you back friggin' quarters. Yep. So, I need Life's a Circus. Let's play. I do love Circus Circus's rewards program. Do you know why? What's their first bottom level of the rewards program? What do they call you? Clown. They call you a clown. They're, but... the only, they're the only casino in Vegas that's honest. That thinks you're a clown. Also, for some reason, the 90s was a weird fucking place. You know why? Hmm. They thought they should put a plug outlet on top of a sliding glass door. Oh my gosh. I, I'm really confused, aren't you? I do have a question for you oh, as okay. well. Is it relevant to the 90s? Can I have the leg drink that I see inside Circus Circus? I have no clue what the leg drink is. It's pretty Is it sexy. from the 90s? Yes. yes. It's from the 90s? We'll probably do it. It's all depending on when the time machine runs out and we got to refill the flux capacitor. But before you have the leg drink, you must do something first. Oh, jeez. We must fuel Captain the 90s Texas. flux. We must fuel the 90s flux capacitor with $2 beers, $2 shrimp cocktail, and $2 hot dog. Uh. I already had a $2 hot dog back in 2024. The problem is you, you're getting peckish because you didn't have a $2 hot dog back in the day. So uh, we're going to enter slots of fun in the casino, so I can't show you everything. Oh my god, he's wearing a freaking Lion King shirt. <laughs> that was great. He's literally got a Lion King shirt on, on him. So um, we're not going to go all the way to the casino, but you can see they're advertising vintage Vegas. I don't know why it's vintage in 94. They've got quarter coin games, dollar coin games, $5 high roller coin games, $5 table games, $2 Heineken, $2 hot dog, $2 shrimp cocktail, and $2 popcorn. Are you ready to continue our 1994 adventure? Sounds fun. Let's what's, go. What's strange is SpongeBob didn't come out till like 2005, but we're just gonna we'll forget that when we get to that part, right? All right. Somehow someone brought SpongeBob back from the past, but uh, from you, the future. Time machine stuff. It was Biff. It was Biff. It was Biff in his sports almanac. You know what I'm talking about? Or you have no idea. Uh, Biff is the is the mean one. 
from Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. He brought back SpongeBob along with his sports almanac. Okay. Perfect. Let's go get going. So Kirsten has her 1994 hot dog. She's put copious amounts of ketchup on it. How is it? Well, you gotta finish chewing. It's so good. I, I was starving and I couldn't wait to shove this wiener in my mouth. Wow. Wow, that's some low-hanging fruit. What? Well, if anybody out there would like Kirsten to shove their wiener in their mouth, no. the bar is very, very low. What? Every hot dog I've bought in Vegas, you've just eaten. I'm just saying, the bar is very, very low. Present wiener, put in mouth. I'm talking about hot dogs. There's a lot of $2 hot dogs around here, y'all. Yeah, this is actually more expensive than the downtown Grand one. Remember that was $2, you got a hot dog and a beer? The problem was, what the hell was that beer? Like like the whole season, if you got that, all your season. That was a PBR. Flat blue ribbon. I'm gonna get off a of curse. I call a it second. double tears. Double tears. Hey, look. Compared to the uh, downtown, wait, what was this? Uh, that was the Fremont Hotel. Remember the tiny little shrimp at the Fremont Hotel? These look bigger, don't they? Mm -hmm. And they've even got that. And I've got. It was served. Let me show you how it was served. It was served like this. I don't get it. It was actually served in a refrigerator, not sitting on questionable ice like the other one. Oh crap. Hold on. I did so well. The okay, here we go. I don't really like cocktail sauce. I'm not going to lie, but you know what? For y'all. Oh, wow. Come on, Carson. My beer kind of looks like it has a flower in the middle of it, the way the, um, the way that the... Or a Milky Way galaxy. Do you see the flower? It's got five petals. Or a Milky Way right, galaxy. Right in the middle. It, I see the galaxy as well. Are you gonna deflower the beer? Yeah, I guess so. While you put the hot dog in your mouth? Yeah. I gotta take it slow and make sure oh, not to gag. Oh, still in the days before the internet, when you had to go to the sex store to, go to watch someone guzzle the sausage. Remember those days? Oh, YouTube censors. You're gonna have so much fun with this video. <laughs> oh, the things I said earlier. See, here's the fun part. The only person who's been around for all the videos that's been shot this week are me. There's a lot of stuff that happened that you won't know till the replay, Kirsten. Oh, jeez. Come on, op open for the air. Like, these are pretty good shrimp. Come on, give the shrimp I know. a try. I want to live at least long enough. Here, you want to some make cocktail? It. It's pretty good. It's like ketchup, but spicy. I, I know I want to make it at least. I want to live to get back on the midway and play the role of the ball Well, game. the good news is food poisoning takes like at least an hour. Great, because I got to get those balls in my hand and Wow, ball. she put the sausage in her mouth and the balls in the hand. That's actually a pretty fresh shrimp. That is. It doesn't smell like SeaWorld like the other one. It doesn't smell like SeaWorld. And you know, it's actually less smoky in here than I'd expect. Because well, all well. the doors are open. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're, this is the auxiliary casino. This is our concern. Not our main casino. But do you hear, do you hear something in the background that reminds you of 94? What do you hear that you haven't heard in any other casino? Coins dropping. What the hell? It's beautiful. Did you know that they have a bar, they have a, a carousel bar that actually rotates here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you on a whole tour of Circa Circa. I mean, a lot of people, we came from 2024, came back to 1994, what is that, 30 years? Um, oh my God. Yeah, I forgot about that math. Um, a lot of people overlook Circus Circus. If they're staying out at Caesars or something like that, I ain't gonna lie. I like that shrimp cocktail. Now let's be very clear. It ain't cruise ship print cocktail. Definitely. But I got something for the Easter Bunny. How much, how much did this one cost? Two dollars. So a little cheaper than the other one, but also better. Oh yeah, the other one was two ninety nine. Yeah, honestly. You know what, Kirsten? I believe I'm gonna be uh what's that guy's name? I'm gonna be Oliver Twist right now. I got some singles. No, they're not for you. You said you're gonna be Oliver Twist. Right. So I'm doing that. Right. I'd like but, more, please. Yeah, more. yeah, but they're, 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 they're for the bar guy. I'd like yeah. another shrimp cocktail. I know. That's the more hands. I know. So when he gets a chance, you know, I used to I used to watch that movie all the time, the Oliver Twist movie. I used Please, to, uh, I used well, to, what do you mean you used to? 
You currently, it's 94, oh wait, no. It we're in 94, we're that. our current age, I forgot. Yeah, yeah so go so ahead. We're like 91, and I would watch Oliver Twist, I would run it from the library, and I would, um, Can I get a shrimp cocktail? My mom would get me an umbrella, so when they did a number that included an umbrella, I could dance along wait, in should, my should living I, should room I, should with I, the should umbrella. I, should I sing a little bit of Oliver Twist? Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Never before has a boy asked for more. I want some shrimp cocktail from 1994. Yes, this How big do you boy do this? He is asking for more. I don't know more than that chorus. You are a computer. I don't. Okay. Oh wait. Should I, should I write it live? Let me. Let me. Oliver song from Oliver Twist. Look, come on. Oliver song. Okay, here we go. Lyrics, so I didn't type in lyrics, okay. I really don't know more than the chorus. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, you know, the boys, amen, amen. What the hell, please sir, I want some more, okay. Whispering, whispering. I don't really know these, this is like, this is not lyrics. Is there actually no lyrics? Thank you, bud. You know? What? Yep, you can keep the change there. By 2024, Oliver Twist will probably be irrelevant and people will not know the song. Anymore. Yeah, but in 1994, <laughs> that could turn around. Maybe his name's actually Oliver. But uh, first, thing, we're gonna, well, we don't really have to finish our beer, but I'm gonna finish this shrink cocktail in peace off camera. And we're gonna see you in the next peace. place we go. We'll see if you get the peace. Uh oh. oh. Or it might be on the toilet later. Well, both of us might be on the toilet later because you had a shrimp. <laughs> warning you. Here, so I am at Slots of Fun in Circus Circus, and I had the hot dog before, but you know what they've got here? They've got two-dollar shrimp cocktail, and it's really cool. They package it. They 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 put this green shit here for some reason. I really don't know what it's called. What's it called? That's what food eats. That's Cap what food eats. Captain Texas. Yes, Captain Texas. Uh, but they're actually big friggin' shrimp. And the cup separates out. And they don't smell like SeaWorld? No, they smell like Costco shrimp, which is, uh, which is a good thing. And then I've got some, some cocktail sauce in the bottom. Um, I mean, this is kind of a throwback to back in the days. I don't know if you can hear, but there's actually like coins behind me that are dinking in a slot machine. It's beautiful. You almost think that it's like 1994 or something, right? Yes. With these shrimp, they're pretty damn good. And where else are you gonna get shrimp this cheap anywhere in the world? Maybe a cruise ship if you're a gambler. That's all I'm saying. Check it out. So we are in front of the actual entrance. This was lots of fun. And Kirsten said her hands are cold, so we should go inside soon. Kirsten, you know why? Because it's 47 degrees outside. It's 1994. Greta Thunberg hasn't been born yet. Oh, Global yeah. Global warming's not a thing. One of your nemesis. What? So I ask you again, <laughs> Kristen. You want to go inside, but how dare you? Uh, how dare you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Shorter list is what is right with me. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh, wait. I know how to make a lot of money in casinos. That's the end of the what is right with me list. Let's go play the roll the ball game. Uh, we gotta we gotta ride the carousel first, but yeah. Okay. I've never done that. What the the? I've never actually rode that carousel that has a bar. I've never done that. Well, it's not a bar. It's a, it's a candy store now because they got Oh jeez. They gotta attract children somehow. <sighs> yes, this is the pedo candy van of uh. Remember, remember. I want you to remember. This is 1994. People didn't really know Pennywise yet. You know, That's Pennywise. the one that wants to lure you into, into the, the sewer, sewer children. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that clown. That clown looks functionally harmless, doesn't he? Maybe. Okay. Kirsten's hands are cold. How dare you? How dare you? So here we go. One of the. Uh, hey, we're recording, Kirsten. Uh, wait, that did exist. 1964 World's Fair. So we're yes. good in 1994. Kirsten, you're moving without moving. How are you moving without moving? I am on a carousel. You know what's funny? There's like no rotating bars in Vegas, but there's a rotating slot machine carousel thing. You can see the floor right there. Um, that's crazy, isn't it? 
Yeah. I'm it's gonna jump cool. off the casino floor. Uh, and uh, we'll go upstairs to the snack bar. That's because it's a second level, dual level carousel. Kirsten, once we get off this, once we get up this ramp, which we're now up this ramp, it's perfectly fine to film. Why? Because it's not a casino, it's a child casino. Okay. So uh yeah, this is like peak 1994 here, isn't it? Yeah, they didn't I have see any... the roll the ball game too. Yeah, but you can't play with yourself. Hey, hey if people want to see Kirsten play with herself, they have to go back to 2024 and check out her OnlyFans. What? That Captain Texas will help me set up, apparently. Uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who has the prettiest b-hole of them all? I do, I do. I don't know, you'll have to subscribe for $20 a month to see. Oh my God. Kirsten's gotta figure out how to get some credit to play the rollerball game. And then oh wait for another God. sucker. Wait for another sucker to play rollerball again. Oh, come here, Kirsten, we'll get some credit, come on. Guys, come on, come on. You see, they've got, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's peak, peak 90s. We got star darts in Star Wars, uh, font. Star Wars font. Touchdown Super Bowl. I didn't even think they can legally use that word in the 2024s. Um, shake, rattle, and roll. Wait, that's gotta be a performer. Yeah, that's a performer. I'm like, that person, that person is dressed a little bit too weird to be a normal person. That's gotta be, that's gotta be the person <laughs> who's performing in a couple minutes. Excuse me. Yeah. That's the clown. Yeah. The clown is coming. The clown is coming. Uh, yeah, hold on. We will play the ball game, but you gotta so wait for someone to play against because I'm I, not playing against. I do have a, um, I do have a little story about the Midway from Go ahead. when I was younger. So there was a game here that they don't have anymore. It's called Fascination. It was like bingo, but you had to roll a ball. Oh, I know it well. And it would go into It's not like a, bingo. It's like, uh, oh, it is like bingo. It's got the five across and five down. It's like, yeah. Yeah. And so if you got a perfect bingo and you're rolling the ball as quickly as possible to be like blackout first bingo, and when it falls through, it um, oh it lights it hey, lights up. Another, there's uh, another version of the roll the ball game. Uh, this the problem horses is instead of camels. You gotta, anyway, you gotta, you gotta, so with fascination, if you could get it in just five balls and make it perfect, then they would say fascination, and you would get the biggest toy. And and I I did it one time, and I got a giant dog, and I will never forget that day. But it is amazing. I'll tell you what's amazing is that how they're. There's nothing, none of the prizes here are branded. You notice that? Like, yeah. it's a unicorn, it's a yeah. dog, it's a bull. Do you go to any other fair or carnival? You've got things like SpongeBob. Uh-huh. Oh, look, let's get in before the, before we, uh, before the gate closes. Let's jump in the, the Ferris wheel here. Whew. Look, you can actually, so these doors are automated. And as soon as we pass that line right there, the doors are automatically gonna close. And yeah, we can watch the circus act from here. So, I wanna show people the door closed. Here, we'll go sit in my favorite color, the orange table. So yeah, if your kids wanna go on a little merry-go-round ride, they can definitely do that. This is called the horse around, a carousel bar. And you'll see when we get past here, just so uh, nobody jumps out and hurts themselves, these gates will actually close. There we go. And Kirsten, now we're trapped on the merry-go-round. But it's kind of a cool way to watch the show from here. It reminds me of like watching Small Have you never been World, on this before? Watching Small World from um, from Pinocchio's Village House. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But all we do is we're going to watch the circus show from here. Because why do we get involved with all those people over there that are standing and all that when we have a perfectly good bar seat right here, right? Yeah. So I'm going to jump to my phone in a minute and I will get you some of the circus show on the phone because this camera is not great for this kind of shot. Because yes, even to 1994, I brought a camera phone. Then Kirsten will figure out how to play with her balls. 
Yeah. Well, and the over... problem is all the people that want to play with your balls are now in the show. We're, I'm not playing against you, and you need at least two people to play the game. So you're going to have to wait for one other person to play the game. I think I will be able to catch someone to play with me. It's not going to be me. Oh. What if I pay for Doesn't your matter. seat? Nope. It's no fair. You it's have to no win. Fair. You have to win your prize fair and square. I but will. Circus acts coming up. So also in a peak 90s, uh, they've got uh, Blockbuster, Superstar, Water Race, The Big Apple, The Big Ring. Ah, Uniball. I guess that's when you only have one ball. Just, just guessing. One wall to knock down those milk chugs. It's a carnival here, year-round at Circus Circus. They even have that uh, scammy throw the ring game. I love that this, this feels like a casino. It's a children's casino, though. Uh, if this is a children's casino, you know, you can, uh, there we go. They can actually film in it. For some reason, they have this giant pickle. In 1994, I have no clue why they have a giant pickle in 1994. Just say. Uh, but there's all kinds of different... Oh, there's people playing the rollerball game. I told Kirsten, I said, I'm not playing against you in the rollerball game. You have to play against actual people. That's what I done told her. She was uh, trying to get a game card because in 1994 they supposedly uh, don't take money from uh, 2024. And uh, they're having issues. And this guy is literally up on a rollerboard there. So yeah, circus shows, it's all kind of here at Circus Circus. Remember, below us is the actual casino, and up here is the children's casino. At the Excalibur, which is about the same time period, they put the casino on top of the, uh, the casino's on top of the arcade, because they use the arcade as a fun dungeon. Uh, oh, look, they, oh, there's a lot of people playing the rollerball game now. The question is, Kirsten has literally been fascinating about the rollerball game all week. Can she win it? She's got 420 credits to potentially win that game. Eh, she might be able to win it. Not sure. Number one part. Oh, they got fishes. This is before that fish was known as a Nemo. Like, what the hell? There was a time before that fish was known as a Nemo? It's crazy. Circus bowl, restrooms. 22 credits is $2? Oh look, I mean, that's, that's very period appropriate. Sonic the Hedgehog. We're not gonna talk about Avengers. Not sure why they would have Avengers here. But yeah, I mean, if if you're a kid or a kid at heart, look at this, old Sega games. Not sure what that is. Didn't make sense in 94. Oh look, they have an automatic cotton candy making machine that I think is broken. Hi. Oh no, please touch the screen to start. You can get robotic cotton candy. Oh. So you can get any of these. That's, I think, like $10. Yeah. So you can put different flavors in there and make that little circle. Is it sprinkles? Credit card or coins? So, yeah. It says uh, 100 credits. Please swipe your credit card. It doesn't tell you how much that credit actually costs. But let's see if we can find Kirsten and play the ball game. All right, Kirsten. You've been talking about playing this damn roller ball game the whole time. She is horse number four. Uh oh. You're getting red. Go down in the hole. There we go. Horse number four is in the lead, or Campbell number four. Uh-oh, oh! 
Camel number four. Horse number four. Horse, uh oh. Camel number ten is kicking your ass. Uh, ten's been practicing. I haven't done this in two years. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kirsten, you're getting your ass kicked by a small child. Camel number ten. No, that's a big adult. Camel number 10. Yay! Kirsten was saying she was going to go nice on that family right there. I wasn't going to go nice. I said. And that lady, this was her first time ever playing it. Oh, yeah. I just haven't sure, played it. Sure, Kirsten. I just haven't played it in uh, two years. Sure, so. Kirsten. Where'd you play it? Here? Here. Did you win it before? Are you? Oh yeah. You gotta place your ball back. No cheating. No practicing. Put it back. Put it there. And take your card. Is that your card there? Yeah, but I'm gonna play again. Oh okay. You're just waiting for another crowd, aren't you? Yeah. Can Kirsten win the game that she's been obsessing about all week? She's not playing me. And trust me, if she were to play me, I'd still kick her ass. But uh. We're not playing that game. We need to have a behind the scenes captain versus captain. Nope. Because I identify as the better captain. I don't actually have to prove it to you. I is, can just identify the, as the better captain. Is better captain like a buffet eating contest or are we? <laughs> who can drink more? This captain or that captain? Uh, who can dance better? Depends how much I drink. You're a pretty good dancer. I'm a good dancer. I'm a good singer. You oh, are look. a renaissance man. We got people to play. Let's get ready for round number two here at the Circus Circus in 1994. Can you believe it? it's only $2 to play this game? You only know charge like 5 or $6 at like carnivals now to play this game? Wow. Yeah, welcome to 94. Imagine what they would really charge for this in 94. Probably like 50 cents a spin, 50 cents a game. Uh, I remember it used to cost like a quarter and there were coupons where you could um, get by Let one Let me move back free. one because this is an inactive lane. Yeah. yeah. All right, she's in again. I'll bring you the beginning of the next race. Stay tuned. So Kirsten still has horse number four. You ready, Kirsten? Yes. Uh oh, we got another person in. It's like the Kentucky Derby, but with camels one and more player! One Vegas. More player! And for once in '94, Kirsten, you finished your beer before I did. Oh, praise 1994. Camel chase. One more player for choice. Uh oh, Kirsten, there's a ringer there next to you. Number four. Oh, you got red. Look at that. Come on, come on. Kirsten is actually in the lead. Wait. Yeah. The other one didn't reset at the end. Kirsten was in the lead. Not sure what's happened to camel number four. Camel number four has just like malfunctioned at life. Oh no. She gotta get a red there. I'm not gonna bother her. Uh oh. Camel number four is not doing too hot there. Kirsten was talking that she was good at this game all week. And she just got killed again by number 17. A lady at the end who does not look like she would be very good at this game. Kirsten, you gotta do what I do when I'm doing bad at roulette. Play two handed. What I need to do is I need to go find a different roll the ball game and just pick a new one to sit at. Okay, there's three roll the ball games here. Let's go. Let's go. We got to be quick because our, our time travel is about to wear off. Well, Kirsten tried twice, and what'd you do? You lost twice, didn't I you? Lost. The good news is I think Kirsten's going to come back here tomorrow with her friend she's been hanging out with while I go 
teach everybody about the Tropicana and what a great hotel the Tropicana is and why you definitely want to stay at the Tropicana when you come to Vegas, right? Yeah. But uh, we're going to head back now to the Adventure Dome, which is an indoor theme park. Now, in 1994, why did they build an indoor theme park here? Because it's hot AF. In the summer, it is hot AF. It's called the Adventure Dome. We're going to go check out the Adventure Dome. I will tell you... Okay, let's, 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 be, let's be honest, people, in a minute. We're not actually entering the Adventure... Have you been in the Adventure Dome yet, or are you just by the Adventure Dome? We're not entering the Adventure Dome in 1994. We're entering the Adventure Dome in 1994 with 2024 security. Didn't you have to go through security to get into the Adventure Dome? I think I did. Yeah. It's a little rough. There's an element that gets attracted to this hotel in 2024 that uh, wasn't here you in know, 1994. I think they have a weird water ride in there and it makes the whole thing uh, No, the real weird. weird water ride's gone. They had a weird water ride in there. They got rid of that water ride because they couldn't keep it up with maintenance. Um, but I am looking for the adventure, the entrance to the Adventure Dome. We got the Adventure Dome, and we got one more thing to do. So we have to time travel back out front into the present. All right, so now we've got the Adventure Dome, which has free admission. You went back here already, Kirsten? Did you go into the Adventure Dome or no? Did we walk in? Did you did you do this already? Not not on this trip. Okay, that was the question. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we've got the Adventure Dome. We can walk in for free, check out some of what's going on. Then we will figure out where the uh, time bending, time breaking SpongeBob happens to be. Uh, Which I've never done. Oh no, it opened this month. No SpongeBob. So opened. most people have never done. There it is. There's a the SpongeBob, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's insane. But I won't show it to you yet. We gotta go check at the Adventure Dome and we have to time travel to 2024. Cause that's how it works. Just to, yeah. Entry is free, you only have to pay for the people. Perfect. The ride, the ride, the ride. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Are you ready to go into the Adventure Dome? Yeah. You haven't come here yet. You wouldn't, you would know if you've been, I'm saying, you haven't come to this trip yet. They do check you for weapons. So uh, I'll have to pause this. Well, then we'll talk about some of the rides and stuff in the Adventure Dome, and then we're gonna have to go back to 2024. Oh my God. It's so much purple. It looks like Barney the Dinosaur came all over this place, doesn't it? I love you, you love me. Like, we immediately become purple. Kinda crazy. But uh, let's go ahead, let him do our scan, and then we'll get into the Adventure Dome. We're in the Adventure Dome now. We did have to go through some security, but honestly, this is much like the rest of Vegas. <laughs> they don't suspect you if you're white. I hate to say. And they're doing security theater? It's, oh, everything's security theater, let's not lie. I mean, I opened up oh one compartment. Oh my God. Oh, you wanna go on that? I will never, oh my God, I would never do this. Yeah, Never just, ever. Oh. Let's do a quick loop around here. 1994 was an interesting time, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, Popular uh, pet names became Simba and Nala. Simba and Nala. No! Oh wait, no. We gotta do the circle of life. I, 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 that's, that's Elton John. It's the circle of life. Hey, 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 and it moves us all. So, this is their 4D theater. They have beer daiquiris and cocktails from Modelo. The number one selling beer in America, may I point out, in 2024. There's this thing called Bud Light, but it's not very popular anymore. Back in 94, it was the most popular beer in America. But for some reason, no one wants to drink Bud Light in 2024 anymore. I don't know why that is, do you? Probably because it's water. It tastes like this and it doesn't hydrate you. I am also afraid of this roller coaster. Really? It's not like it has a straight down drop or anything. Oh, there's two roller coasters. Oh, that's the original. I was losing my hat oh, looking at the I thought you thought coaster. the roller coaster. Oh, look! First 
Preston! Preston! The same credits work here. So if you find a rollerball game, you can play a rollerball game. Oh, look! I think the same credits work here. Seriously. It looks like it. You got your card? I really hope. Yeah. I think that works. No way. I've never played this exact one. I've never played the mining one. It doesn't matter. What they are is the same. Oh, I think these credits... Oh, we're gonna win a little boba if I can manage to win at all at my favorite game. Oh, the boba's cute. Person's favorite game. Swipe it twice. Okay. All right. So I am number 14, you are number 12. Kirsten talked me into playing her. Ready? We're yeah. ready. Go. Here we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, but yours came yours came out quicker. And I still have nothing. Okay, here we go. I am number 14. And I still Kirsten's have nothing. Kirsten's number 12. If you wonder why I won't play you, <laughs> you're about to see why I won't play you. You're catching up. You're catching up. And number 14. Is, should I give you a little handicap? No. 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 I gave you a little handicap by mistake. Oh, I'm giving you a chance to catch up, Kirsten. That's cheating. There we go. Don't give me a chance. Okay, now we're back. Even-ish. You don't want me to cheat? That's fine. I'll play it for real. I'm literally recording with one hand at the same time. Yeah, it's not even fair anymore. I just as got red. As long as you give it your all. Like I'm very bad at doing today. And I think it's over, but very we'll see. Easter. Nope, nope, I'll, I'll give you one, one more chance to catch up a little bit. You get two rolls. Two rolls. One, one more. Then I roll again. This does to me. Well, it does the same thing to me. All right, you get one more roll. Okay. Same thing again. And I think I just won. Sorry, Kirsten. I just got red. Uh, Number 14. Uh, and Kirsten? That's why you don't play me in this stupid game. The good news is, you still get your prize. Oh, let her choose. Uh, I'll take the Hello Kitty. Oh, she Kitty. takes the Hello Kitty Thank Bobo. You. Kirsten, congratulations. You actually won the one branded prize that we've seen all, well, hold on. Thank you. Hold on. I actually won the one branded prize that we've seen all day. Kirsten, I want you to be very, very aware that I did that one-handed. Now, there's a lot of things in life I do one-handed. Like bowling. Is it with the hand on my shoulder? I like to menstruate. I mean, what? Ma masticate, masticate. I like masticating. Uh, Are you familiar with what masticating means? Uh, hurt yourself? No, that's chewing. Oh. Do you want to watch me masticate later? No. Okay. I mean, it's going to be difficult for I to have dinner. I was going to say no, no matter what that meant. Oh, okay. Look at that roller coaster. That looks like fun. You know what's great? What? You know, your little adventure card works on the rides too, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to do those rides. These rides are sketchy as hell. But there is a ride we are going to do. And that ride is not owned by Circus Circus. It's actually a third party that runs that ride. Um, but in order to do that ride, we're going to have to find a time machine, Kirsten. You know why? Because everything here has existed since uh, 1994. We have to go back to 2024 to check out the newest thing at Circus Circus. Are you ready to do that? Yes. And you finally got a prize, even though... I Carson, didn't win it. You I didn't. just got to pick it. <laughs> now do you understand why you don't play the rollerball game against me? Yeah. I did, did I, I, I clearly said. Did you video that whole thing? Of course I did. Uh, and I gave you a handicap. I, I just know. got lucky with a red ball at the end. I know. 
Oh god, this roller coaster. You haven't even seen this one's even worse. There's three in here. This one's a straight down drop. That's actually part of the track. That plop straight down. It's kind of crazy. But we're gonna look for our time machine and hopefully we can find it. And then uh, we'll show you something from 2024 that just opened in Circus Circus less than 30 days ago. You ready? You get yeah. It? Now, you know what our time machine is going to be shaped like, right? Uh, a clown? No, no, no. We need a time machine back to the new thing in 2024. It's uh -huh. a time machine, but it's under the seat. A so what's up? Ah, yes! It's in the shape of a pineapple. Uh, did you, do you like Toy Story Midway Mania yeah. at Disney? Yeah. So this is kind of a knockoff of that. Okay. It's got a pre-show and everything like that. We're going to go ahead and we'll jump in our time machine and we'll show you when we get there. All right, so we are leaving the Adventure Dome and we're going to go through a time portal. Oh no. Kirsten, what year is it now? 2024. It's 2024. We've got Marvel. Look, what's Marvel? And we've got this thing called SpongeBob. They wouldn't know what this was back in uh, 1994, would they? Also, what wasn't everywhere in 1994? Starbucks wasn't right. everywhere oh, in 1994. Geez. Have you walked more than like 50 feet and not seen a Starbucks? Nope. So this is actually a Sally Dark Ride that opened in, um, when did it open? Opened earlier this month. So it's made, uh, March 31st. This opened on March 1st. Um, and it's a completely separate experience thing here. And you see there's Mr. Krabs. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. It's the same company built it. They're guaranteed fun. Same, same, same company, guarantee. same company built this that built Disney's. Sally Dark Rides built it. So there is Senor Mr. Special Krabs. SpongeBob's crazy carnival ride. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's give it a ride. Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, and this is Kirsten, and we are in front of the what the hell do they call it? SpongeBob's crazy carnival ride. This opened earlier this month. It's from Sally Dark Rides, and they priced it way too high when they started out. They were twenty bucks a ride. Now they're down to. It was like $13 a ride or 20 bucks for two rides. And they know it's crazy because less than a month into operation, that two rides is supposed to be used by the same person. The guy just told us to buy the $20 two ride pass. So it works out to 10 bucks a person. It, what I'm trying to say is they've already dropped the price by half one month into operation. <laughs> That's true. But it's made by Sally Dark Rides, IAPA. You ever heard of IAPA, the theme park expo that happens every year? No. In Orlando? So Mr. Krabs, he was part of IAPA there. And, uh, he kind of uh, checks you in right there. There's, there's Mr. Krabs. And then you've got SpongeBob's crazy carnival ride. We got the tickets. We got all that. Uh oh. I'll give you a chance to go through a second time. By getting back in line. But yeah, this is, uh, this is Sally Dark Rides. I don't know much about it, but uh, we're gonna jump in. We'll show you what we can. So, whoa, welcome one and all. Mr. Who, is that me? Yeah. Oh, we gotta watch the video. While you're here at the carnival, make sure to visit our electrifying collection of spectacular side shows. Be astounded by the amazing Larry and his stupendous feats of strength. Get your palms red by the mysterious Madame Pearl. The swimming swami. Cringe at the hideous sight of Harry Gary. <laughs> and after you've had your fill of the carnival games, swim on by the Krusty Krab and get your hands on the patty sensation that swim in the ocean. <laughs> Carnival games up and running, Tata. Well, it's too bad we can't 
Please use this stuff. Patrick, your tickets are showing. <laughs> You're missing the story here. There's a story. We spent too long. There we go. Okay. Okay. Is that everything, Patrick? Yep. That's all the boxes, SpongeBob. Patrick, people are already in line. We gotta hurry up and get this gaming stuff on back. Burger buns? Frozen patties? Patrick, this isn't carnival game equipment. These are all ingredients for delicious Grammy patties. Oh, well. I was wondering why all these crates smelled so good. Mr. Krabs is going to be so angry. Stop clowning around, you two. Mr. Krabs needs to get these carnival games up and running pronto. Well, it's too bad we can't just use this stuff. Patrick, your genius is showing. <laughs> oh, no. No, I mean we can just use these Krabby Patty ingredients for the games instead. Oh, yeah, smart. Now let's get this stuff unpacked. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's let's let the mic come on so i'm not sure exactly uh, what's going on here but we were supposed to come to a carnival and now they just got krabby patty ingredients didn't they uh-oh let's see i've seen some videos of this but that's about all i know here and we've got oh look whole spongebob stuff we'll jump on board and tell you what's going on you ready kristen all I need is a few ingredients uh -oh. and the Krabby Patty secret formula will finally be mine! Get your gun! Yeah. Get your gun! Oh, you got it. I didn't know there's three guns. Just point your pointers at the bubble and start popping. Everything is My gun's working? Not working? You're orange. I've got nothing. There we go. You are really good at missing those bubbles. That's me. Great job, everyone. Now head on over to my pal Swinger at the basketball court. See you later. I know. Welcome to the basketball toss. Shoot hoops for fun and prizes. I feel like this isn't that accurate. Uh-oh, Patrick's hosting the next game. My god, you are kicking my butt in this game. Uh-oh, Plankton's gonna steal the Krabby Patty recipe! No, die, Plankton! Die! You terrible man! Die, Plankton! Die, Plankton! Die! Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. It's the oven ring toss. Just toss the oven. I love oven ring toss. It does. Die, Plankton. Die, Plankton. I kicked it. I'm killing you, Plankton. All we're playing is die, Plankton. 
That's my favorite game. Die, Patrick! Die, SpongeBob! New game? No, SpongeBob! No, not a new game! Oh my god, it actually smells like grief. That's actually impressive. It's time to feed Patrick! More Patrick! No! He's still hungry! Fake Patrick! Be real, Patrick! Mr. Krabs! Die, Mr. Krabs! Oh, those crappy pennies are costing me money! Oh, no! Oh, it's better than that! Oh, it's for die plankton! Stop me from learning the secret formula! Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no! No! no. So he can't get the formula! No! Hold up, let's see. 11 minutes later. Who won? 160? Oh, you beat me! Oh! It shows your picture! And me, I'm too fat! Because I'm in the middle! I'm not there because I'm too fat! And Blank's instead! Or in prison! And then we put it back in our holder. Gary's my favorite. He's hairy. He's scary. He's Gary. All right, so I should have brought you along via my glasses for uh, most of that ride, if not all of that ride, just a little chunked up in yes. vertical form. Um, what do you think of it? It was beautiful and fun. Yeah, it was. A, it's a Sally dark ride. Sally makes. You ever been to Six Flags before? Yeah. You know all the Scooby Doo shooting rides. Play with Six Flags. All the shooting rides that are not Disney ones. Uh, Sally actually made Men in Black. Sally made Buzz Lightyear. Uh, that figure looks like the Buzz Lightyear and the Mr. Potato Head figure, because guess what? They done made them. Company out of Tampa, by you actually. Uh, called Sally Dark Rides. Huh. That makes all this stuff. Um, and you know, they already had the rights to do Spongebob here at this casino because they had a Spongebob ride. They still have a Spongebob ride in the Adventure Dome, so they got them. It was a little annoying that we had to get new cards and stuff to do that. But uh, elsewise, for slightly less than 10 bucks a person, not bad. Yeah. Like I said, they learned from the uh, 20 bucks a person they were charging less than a month ago. But it for is, less than... It but, is definitely worth it for uh, anybody with kids or Spongebob enthusiasts. And if you're a fat guy, don't sit in the middle of the back seat or else uh, it's just going to get a picture of your side. Yeah, it'll be like your love handle scored 16,000 points. I mean, they did. Because they're amazing. But uh, this is Richard and Kirsten from No Pants Profits wrapping up both our Circus Circus review, if you've seen it, uh, if in... 1994 and 2004, and our review of the new SpongeBob attraction, which opened in 2024. <laughs> Reminding you that when you wear no pants, the only thing you have out to lose is your Texas shirt. Yeah, you want to see, you want to see me lose my Texas shirt later? Is that what you just said? Ew. Yeah, I know. She wants another hot dog. The West Gate, where we're seeing our magic show, it's actually about a 15 minute walk from the Circus Circus. The problem is, we have 13 minutes, and I don't want to miss uh, Jen Kramer's show and walk in on Barry Manilow again. 
Plus, from what I've heard, one of her best tricks is actually the first trick. Jen is a very different type of uh, magician than anybody else in Vegas. Uh, and I think Kirsten will really like her. You know why? It's girl magic. Yay, girl no, it's, magic. It is really girl magic. I'm not going to lie. It's like Facebook profiles and stuff like that. It's cute. I've seen Jen's show. We're going to head over there. Then we're going to go see Shin Lim, who is the best card magician in the world. Vegas is still the place that people want to be to see different things. So we'll see you over at the West Gate where Jen Kramer does her magical afternoon. Catch you over there.